Hello, my name is Skrull and I'm going to record just a little snippet of Thief, chapter 5. Don't know how long I will record, we shall see. Ah, ready to go? <sighs> now I remember why I don't like boats. Well, I hate swimming a whole lot more, so get in. No, I'll take the oars. You row about as well as I can dance. Sure. The exercise will do you some good. So, what does Aaron have to do with Moira? Do you believe in ghosts? Huh? Spirits. Uh, you know, the dead coming back to haunt the living. Punish them. You think Aaron's haunting you? I don't know, perhaps. I remember a, a ritual, some kind of an explosion. Aaron died. I'll never forget it. And everything else is gone. Oh, come on, Garrett. I know you wouldn't have put that gal in harm's way. She'd have put herself there easy enough. There's an answer in here somewhere. I could feel it. This place has gone oddly quiet since there was a riot here. Some patients escaped. A few boats have come in. Nothing has come out. Garrett! I don't know what you expect to find in there, but be careful. Don't become a ghost yourself. I've been a ghost all my life. It's been a long time since this island had a good reputation. Will I really find you here? Okay, so I'm playing this blind. Uh, I uh, will not be... So this means this is a uh, complete walkthrough. And I will make mistakes, etc. Probably go back one day uh, and do a new game plus and clean everything out. The reason why I chose to record this chapter is because this is supposed to be scary as hell. I have no idea what's awaiting me and I get scared shitless about just, you know, nothing, so I might be screaming and so on. Uh, right, so... Objectives. Uh, remain undetected. Take no damage. I uh, don't know about that one. 12 kills or knockouts, so I can expect um, resistance and lift all loot items. <coughs> right, so let's go. So there is one thing with the focus ability. See, I have no focus. And um, when you hit it, it still highlights stuff supposed to be interactive. Another thing I, I'd like to say is um, I know this game has had a lot of different uh, some good and some bad reviews. I'm an old, old Thief fan. I played all the three previous games and I love the voice act actor that did Garrett previously. I love the new one. I think he's absolutely brilliant. I love the cutscenes. There's a lot of things that people have been complaining about that I just don't find annoying or irritating and I, I don't really understand. Why 
they are complaining about it. I'm thinking, you know, maybe the guys who wrote those reviews really haven't played the previous games. <laughs> but of course, there are some hardcore fans that just... Nice noise. <clears throat> I've turned the music off, by the way, because it's so scary. So, of course, there are hardcore fans that... Complain just for the complaining sake. I'm not going to be doing so much more talking. <coughs> and did you see his hand there? Um, so in the last chapter. He got shot with an arrow through his uh, left hand and I love the detail that they now put a bandage on it. So. Alright, let's get my focus up. Oh no, that was health. <laughs> there we go. Find. Oh, just need to check the time. There we go. Edwina Moira. Hers was the dream the Baron brought to life. Trying to keep something out or in. Someone's expecting me. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm not going to be able to do this. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, God.
It's going to happen again. Oh, God. Oh, God. If Aaron was here, then the female ward is probably a good start. So strange. I really want to play as a ghost. I have no idea what I have to do. I've apparently killed a lot of people and I don't know how I even did it. I thought I was knocking them out. No visitors today, no visitors today, patient 63 received Lord Abercrombie, no visitors today, patient 18 received her patron Nova, okay. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah. stomach is just hurting so bad right now. <laughs> I should have expected that. I don't know, I was so stupid. I should have just closed my eye and just, you know. <laughs> uh, maybe if I go into options, I can turn down Okay. <laughs> oh god. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, they barred the way out. Nice. <laughs> okay, let's check the map. <clears throat> so, I should go this way, which means I should try checking out this place, maybe. do that. You know, because. God, my stomach. I might have to stop recording. I can't do this on my own. I need somebody to sit next to me while I'm doing this. <laughs> um, receive patient 18. Young female admitted by the state and delivered under guard. Condition moderate to poor. Numerous abrasions and broken bones. Arrived drugged and unconscious. Instructed to keep her that way due to extreme violence, violent tendencies. Were not sedated. Moved to women's ward. Central seclusion for observation and treatment. So, this was the year 841. received her patient. So she was here for at least one year. So 
scissors lying around the mental patient ward. Oh. <laughs> okay. So maybe I should try and just check everything down here first. Oh no, because this leads to the same place, of course. Oh well. You know, maybe I just shouldn't <laughs> try to clean this place out and just try to finish it as quickly as possible. I know I'm going to lose a lot of money, but I really can't do this. Fire arrows, you say? Well. Elevator, shaft papers. These are the Baron's locks. What's so important to him in an asylum? <laughs> Looks like I need to have myself committed. Voluntarily, of course. Okay, so acquire the key from the mail ward. Oh, somebody in my house is drilling. Don't know if you can hear it. blood on the carpet.
Patient 63 has been sneaking out of her seclusion and creating disturbance in the men's ward. The vent from the showers appear to be her point of egress and has been sealed with threaded shrews. screws. I mean, <laughs> observation will determine whether this measure was successful or not. I notice you've been absent quite free frequently of late. I know the shifts in reformation are difficult for you to bear, but we all must do our part to ensure the well-being of our most grievously ill patients. I have also noticed that lately you appear to be limping. Get Dr. Stedman to look you over. We need all your our nurses in top shape while our patron is on the pro page patron is on the pro. Oh wait, there was notice um, the women's ward key has been relocated to my desk in the men's ward the dancer has been sneaking out to steal it and torment the linguist if you need it which you shouldn't come and see me when I'm on duty okay Oh God. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. <laughs> okay, closing my eyes. <laughs> uh, 
the headaches are getting worse. Some days I can barely see straight. I should be documenting my symptoms, but they come and go so rapidly at times that I'm not sure I feel them at all. I felt them at all. All I can discern is that they seem to grow stronger the closer I am to Dr. Huntfield's patients. But that shouldn't be even possible. It could just be the mental strain of blocking out all the screaming. I swear the torments uh, them on perp I swear he torments them on purpose when he knows it's my shift. I guess I should add paranoia to the list of symptoms. not going to open any of the locks of the locked rooms. kind of patient if he got hold of this key send a thief to catch a thief the archivist double locks have been placed on the archivist store as various supplies have been going missing how is he getting out I don't know but I suspect, suspect the watchman has been helping him I relocated the letter from M10 to M2, so the two are no longer neighbors. So, um... The letter, that must mean the later. So the watchman is relocated. So M9 or M11. Or, okay, I'm gonna write this down. M9, M11 or M2. I need to check those in case I misunderstood. God, stop with the scary shit. Room numbers. Um, patient 31. Patient 97. Patient 14. Patient 16. Central security. to M2 patient 14 so it's M9 or M2 <laughs> Patients are still here. Uh, 
Oh no, it's um oh this is <laughs> Uh, that's, that makes me a little bit sad that um, that I didn't figure it out by myself, that I could have just looked at the map. I really hope you can't hear the drilling that's going on. <laughs> Patient 29 is showing remarkable progress for following the removal of patient 18 from the woman's ward. He has become both tractable and agreeable. One could assume he is almost his normal self. Though I admit I am keen to see him in the treatment center for further study and analysis, his condition is not currently severe enough to warrant transfer, transfer to reformation. However, if he were to resume his previous percursive demonstrations of anxiety. We must never forget that the bonds of mental illness are both invisible and insipid. He may require treatment yet. Um, let's see, we had patient 29. It's not here. And wait, when was that? Um, this was eight four one. Removal of patient eighteen. So they took her out from the women's ward. But this was eight four one. And she was there for at least a year, a couple of months. Oh yeah, sorry, I have to pick these locks. Just gonna check the time. somebody's in there. I'm going to open it and close my eyes. <laughs> okay, closing my eyes. Okay, nobody's in there. <laughs> what was hidden must be uncovered, no? Did I not see this? How can I get in? something because I can't jump up here right oh. I can okay
Will I be able to get up again? <laughs> No, this is the wrong room. This is the wrong... This is the right room. But... <sighs> How the hell can I get in here? I love it, I love it, I love it. Been saving cutlery, have you? supposed to have the key, right? There we go. This should get me into the female ward. Oh, how lovely. Did you see the guy standing here? And now he's gone. Sweet. I found a special cash today left by someone like me. Little pieces of copper coin as old as the city and a strange painting. We think the same way, so there must be more. There's a noise in the wall sometimes, a clicking that sounds like my heartbeat. I have to have it. I will have it soon. If I go back... Okay, someone started something. So, um, enter the female ward, so I need to go there, I wonder if I can go this way, closing my eyes, Night warden on duty. No loitering in the halls. No noise making in the rooms. Keep doors closed. That's the guy. Now he's gone. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> uh, let us not forget, however, that the care of the mentally ill comes with a price. We must pay it with our care, with our patience and with our blood. For it is our blood that these poor creatures... Um, it is of our blood that these poor creatures come. And it is to us that they owe their peculiar, peculiar sentiments. Take, for example, the master sneak thief, so attributed to these times of woe. He is a man sorely tempted by that which, to him, does not belong. A misplacement of desire to see the world in, order, in an order which it must not deviate from. Am I the master thief? <laughs> no. Is there a thief here? Or is that Garrett? Okay. 
What the hell just happened? Oh uh, god, what the hell just happened? What the hell just happened? And I mean, I did, I, I died, but I didn't die. Oh god, this is like Silent Hill or something. Right, um, I think I'm going to make a cut here because the video will be too long. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna come back because this is scaring the shit out of me and I'm all alone and it's dark outside, so... Yeah, I might if enough people nag me. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Bye.